the intermediate stage, right? You start off in a course, everything's feeling good. It's equivalent to like making your bed in the morning, easy peasy. Um, it's like learning to drive for the first time, stopping at a stop sign. You're happy, you're feeling good. And then it's like, drop off, you are now an intermediate, where the fuck do I go? I'm sad, I'm scared, I'm fearful, um, I don't know what to do. And then you try to go out into this world where your hand is not held, and then all of a sudden you start breaking things, you don't know what to do, you know, lemonades pouring out of your coffee filter, you're trying to start the wrong car with your keys, you're trying to start your bike with your keys, um, you're making a sandwich, everything's feeling right. I did it, I did it! And then all of a sudden, like, you're putting Tide Pods on your sandwich thinking it's the right thing to do, and you just, you don't know what's going on. It's a bad time. Um, I want to help you avoid that stress of not knowing what to do and making mistakes as much as I can. This is actually a really exciting stage to be in. You guys have so much potential. Um, it's just about unleashing it and give it, again, getting some direction to know where to go. And yeah, this is the failing stage, but that's kind of the whole point of it all. So don't worry about constant failure. Even, even the experts out there, little secret, um, they have no idea what they're doing, right? Um, the only thing that differentiates them is they have more confidence to fail and they're okay with it and they're okay with learning. So it's just about adapting to that mindset. And I'm gonna give you a lot of options. There is no right thing. You're gonna end up doing like all these things I list at some point in your life. So it's okay, you can pick whichever one you want. So let's get started. So one option you have is to learn data structures. And all of you already know one, it's an array. But the truth is there's more ways to store data than just an array. There's hash tables, binary trees, um, just there's a lot of stuff out there. And if you learn computer science in school, um, after learning the basics, that's usually the next step. Um, but it can be a little dry. And if you're gonna go to school, it might not be the best option for you because it's a lot of theory based but it is the questions they will ask in interviews, it's the questions, it'll make you a better coder in general. But if you're not too excited yet by it, you know, you can wait, you can hold back. There's other stuff you can do in the meantime before you go learn data structures. Second, you can come up with your own projects, as scary as this sounds, right? I'm assuming you learned to code for a reason, and maybe it's because you have a really unique, cool idea in your head. If you don't think it's possible to make yet, who cares, right? It doesn't matter. Map it out and start on it, and every time you get stuck, use Google, use Stack Overflow, use Reddit, use question and answer sites where you can get your questions answered on where the next step is, because that's it's, it's gonna induce a lot of failure, but it's gonna tell you where to go, um, and you're gonna feel a lot of passion towards it, because it's your own project. If you feel like you're not yet ready to come up with your own project, or maybe that's not really why you started to code in the first place, then there's so many really awesome sites out there that give you, like, an array of practice projects. I'll, I'll link sites in the descriptions that allow you to do that. Another thing you can do, which is probably one of the most fun I'd say, is work with an API. An API stands for Application Programming Interface. What this allows you to do essentially is take data from a company like Spotify, Google, or YouTube and use it in some of your own projects. Now it's limited sometimes, but it's really fun. Let's say I have a friend named Bob and me and um, I want to use the Spotify API, meaning I want to take some of Spotify's data about me and data about Bob, and I want to compare our playlists and see which artists that we have in common that we like. So plugging into that Spotify API, imagine just plugging it in and getting some data from it. You can use that and make programs with it. So um, that's really fun. I'd recommend just diving right in and like Googling how to use an API. If you're learning Python, say, okay, Spotify, Python API. If you're learning JavaScript, JavaScript, Python API, etc. You can kind of Google those type of terms, but that's really fun to play with. Another thing you can do, which I didn't, I didn't realize this until college actually, if you learn a language like Java or an object-oriented language, I'm sure you've heard this a million times, well, what does that really mean? I'd recommend going and Googling and learning more about objects and how to create objects because this is the part of programming where you can write code that's actually pretty abstract and do a lot with it. So learn about making objects. Um, I won't go into explaining it too much, that could be a whole video, but imagine you have an object of a cat and you can have multiple cats with different attributes, different hair, eyes, so one object and then you can have different types of objects, 
um, that have different attributes. That's the best way I can explain it for now. Highly recommend going and learning more about it. Get involved in the community. Like if you're learning HTML, join the HTML subreddit. If you're learning Python, join the Python Facebook group. If you're learning Swift, join the Swift Twitter feed. I don't know, but this is gonna get your curiosity flowing. And a lot of times these communities really um, show some really awesome tools that you can actually use because they're for intermediates. So yeah, join that and get a fresh feed every day of new content, aside from just what I'm giving you now. Another great thing to do is to learn about open source projects, specifically learn how to use GitHub. GitHub set shows um, if you were to code with a lot of people in general and you want to publish your code to the world, how would you do that? How would that work? So if you learn GitHub and Git specifically, it's a tool that you're going to use forever. So um, it's very valuable and you can work on other people's projects. Isn't that cool? You can search for other people who are working on stuff you like and edit it and suggest changes. Next up is a stack. Set up a teaching blog. That probably sounds really crazy because you're the student, right? You're the student. Why would you teach anybody? It turns out students are actually some of the best teachers when it comes to programming because you understand the problems. So I would recommend setting up a blog. Use Medium, use whatever you want. Make your own blog if you're learning web development. Genius idea. Um, and literally write whenever you, have, whenever you solve a big problem, document it and say how you fix it because chances are you're really going to help someone else. And also when you teach, you learn a, a lot better because you have to explain it to like a 10 year old. So imagine taking something you just learned and now reteaching it. That really helps um, get the information into your head. I think I have way, way too many lights in my setup. But anyways, um, if that still wasn't enough for you, I'm gonna throw in the description as many free resources as I possibly can and try to categorize them into what's useful for you guys. So feel free to just scan that. If I come up with anything else after filming this, I'll add it there too. And hopefully that just gives you a plethora of stuff. Use the resources around you. By that I mean ask questions. And if you can't ask people around you, ask on Reddit, ask on Stack Overflow, Google as much as you can and just keep writing notes down until you figure out where you need to go. Don't worry too much about, you know, following the right path. There's zero right path that exists for learning how to code. No matter what you do, you're probably benefiting yourself and your education. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and good luck. You're doing awesome. So stay confident. Under the palm trees in the California sun. Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun. I don't remember.